up, family? She's back with another vlog. I don't want to show you too much of my kitchen because, again, that's going to be in a separate video. And it's almost done. Not quite. But my husband had to rent a car, right? Look what we rented. Hold on. Let me show y'all what we rented. Y'all. It's a Toyota Sienna. Tends to be quiet. It's a Toyota Sienna. This thing is bad, y'all. It's bad. It's so bomb. Let me take you guys on a quick little quick little tour. Here's the key. And it has the um hold on. Let me focus it. There we go. You can open the doors, the side doors, unlock obviously your trunk. Check this out. Wrong door. <laughs> y'all what in the luxury is going on here okay let me take y'all inside real quick look how much space okay jagger already made a mess we're bringing it back tonight but i wanted to show y'all because i'm like yo am i about to be a mom van person it's uh it's got like plugs in the back cup holders cup holders here look at okay then hold this down okay close that door and then there goes the other one okay then here is the front seat look at all this freaking space look at the screen it's got a sunroof i never in my life thought i would be a minivan type of person but as y'all can see baby number three is coming and this is not <laughs> <laughs> this is nice all kind of charging ports everywhere plugs everywhere girl i said hold up boo this thing is so deep <sighs> okay hold on y'all don't mind my cheek i have sunflower seeds in my mouth yes i do eat sunflower seeds i've been eating them since i was a kid and i love them but y'all I never thought I would be that girl, that mom, that person to be driving a minivan. But the amount of space in there and the comfortability, the boys thought it was the most fun car ever. Blake is obsessed. He's like, you guys need to buy one now. I'm like, maybe one day, boo. Y'all, comment below. What do you think? Should I turn my life into a mom van life i'm kind of living that life already with the kids but like do you see me in a mom van i don't know the swatches are still here listen we're working on it okay we're working on it i don't know if i would go with the toyota sienna just because it's very much a van it's like no hiding it but the kia carnival have y'all seen that the kia carnival though She's a van, but she's a sporty looking one, right? Looks kind of like a truck. Hmm. Tyson's whining. What'd you say? Isn't that cool that it opens by itself? Yeah, it is cool that it opens by itself. Come sit. Super cool. Okay, sit back. okay guys so we're in the car now so you guys can see the screen on look how cool it has apple carplay it has what else i don't even know y'all um it's a hybrid so we've had it since last night and i was driving it trying to get it to focus driving it all morning and the needle has not moved from full so apparently even though it's a giant car it's great on gas and i don't know you can do all kinds of stuff apple carplay um obviously it has the phone okay my phone i don't know what apps i haven't played with it oh okay okay well i haven't played with it much because we're bringing it back today anyway but yeah it also has like obviously navigation and stuff i think it's the bomb.com 
and it's super spacious obviously it's a minivan i don't know y'all i don't know i might be becoming a minivan mom and i can't take it all right guys what is up it is the next day i'm driving to my 28 week appointment and you know what that means if you've had a baby before between 26 i think it's between 26 and 28 weeks this is the time for dun, 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 the nasty glucose drink so uh i have to take drink this whole thing an hour before my appointment um because when i get there i have to get my blood drawn and basically if you've never had a baby before this is to check to make sure you do not have gestational diabetes which essentially is being diabetic during pregnancy um, so if you fail the one hour test then they make you do the three hour fasting test so fingers crossed thank you Jesus that I'm gonna pass because I ain't trying to go through all that then you gotta sit in the office for three hours and I think they like draw your blood every hour or something because I've had to do I think I failed it I failed the one hour test with Jagger so I had to do the three hour test not fun okay we took the mom van back listen I had a lot of fun in that van I was so comfortable and I don't know if it's mainly because I'm feeling really big and pregnant right now um or what or if it was just genuinely com comfortable which is probably the case because it was so spacious that thing was so cool I want to say it was a 2021 because it only had 5,000 miles on it. So it was probably a 2021 Toyota Sienna. It was hybrid. It was dope. It was dope. Um, so, listen, my wheels are turning. I don't know. Yeah. We might be revisiting the idea of a mom bed. It was just so, it's so convenient when you have kids, smaller kids especially. I'm having another one, obviously. Comment below and let me know. Should I go mom van route? Because this, essentially, this, I love my Mazda. Right now I drive a 2018 Mazda CX-5. But, I am going to have three kids. So, I need something bigger. So, comment below and let me know. Should I go the mom van route? Or, go back into a truck like the Dodge Durango. We had the Dodge Durango for a couple of years and I loved it. Absolutely love the Dodge Durango. Has three rows. It's love the way it drove. It was black on black with gunmetal metal rims. It was fire. Okay, fire. But if you watched my uh, testimony about my house, I had to give up my Dodge Durango because it. I carried a lot of debt with it because it was an expensive car in order to... Uh, balance my debt to income ratio a little bit better to be able to buy the house so now that we have the house she has to get something bigger okay and when i gave up my durango i bought a nissan murano it was like a 2007 nissan murano i bought it outright because i still need the transportation um and that was <laughs> hell on wheels oh boy that's it was always something wrong with that car but i was like jesus please jesus made it work long enough and actually gave me the money to be able to fix it and upkeep it long enough for me to be able to just get my house so literally shortly after I got my house my Nissan died the engine gone that was it um so then I I I, I brought it in the guy called me because I would have kept the Nissan y'all it had no car note okay um I'm all for cute cars and things but I'm also all for no car notes okay and saving money so I would have kept the Nissan, but when the guy called me and told me, he was like, yeah, unfortunately your engine's gone. I was like, oh, okay. So I left it at Nissan because I couldn't drive it off the lot with a oh, not working engine. So I kind of picked quick with this car. I test drove it. It's very sporty looking on the outside. It's a, it's a um, truck-ish car. I'll see if maybe I can insert a picture or something. Or I'll put a link or something. It's a truck-ish car, but it's like not a big one. 
it, it's very cute and it's mine is red and I love my car but I wish I was thinking bigger because obviously I'm financing this one and cars are just let me tell you guys right now I, I'm rambling but this is important cars are a waste of money if you have money to just blow and throw out the window cool but most of us don't and cars are a waste of money because now um, I put down my car as a trade-in and then I put down a little bit of money like 1500 bucks on top of my trade-in or something like that um, but you get all this interest on the car okay so when you drive it off the lot it's not worth what you're paying for it nine times out of ten unless your credit is like excellent a1 which mine was not at the time you're going to be upside down on the car which i am and um upside down means you owe more than the car is worth so now in order for me to be able to get into a bigger car it's going to cost a big down payment which is a waste of money <laughs> so i wish when i bought this car i was thinking bigger because mazda also makes the cx9 am i saying it right is it cx or xc it's cx Mazda also makes the CX-9, which is bigger and has the third row. So, I just needed a car quick. I needed something that wasn't too, too expensive, but also still, you know, cute. If I'm going to be paying for a car every month, I want it to be decent. Uh, so, blah, blah, blah. I've been rambling for six minutes. But, do as I say, not as I do. Okay? <laughs> if you have it to blow, blow it. Okay? But, if you don't, don't go out here trying to get all these fancy cars with bells. Listen, girl, A to B, A to B, okay? For me, unfortunately, I have more needs because I have kids and I need more space and I need more truck space. So, um, yeah, I'm a little annoyed with myself, but also I had no idea that I would end up pregnant. So, yeah, it is what it is, right? So, she has to probably be getting rid of this soon and getting something bigger okay and i'm a little stressed out about it because i'm like low-key where am i gonna get all this money from because i'm like upside down like seven thousand dollars on this car so like seven thousand dollars and plus like a down payment for, like who got that money just sitting around just for a car not i said the cat we gonna make this mother work let me tell you something we gonna make this mother work for as long as we need to until jesus gives us another car he gave me a house now. He can give me anything I want. Do you know who my father is? Okay, the Lord. So I'm gonna be praying on a new car, a bigger car. And it's gonna happen. Okay, just watch it happen in Jesus' name. Period. But I'm gonna drink this stuff. And I will keep y'all posted. Blech. I'm currently having a Braxton Hicks contraction not fun um but the appointment went well his heartbeat is 145 beats bpm beats per minute I think um I will know about my results for my glucose testing by tomorrow but this is the belly I got all needled up today this is the seven month belly uh i'm 28 weeks i will be 29 weeks on friday today is tuesday so yeah appointment went well and everything i um i had to go into the emergency room a couple days ago because i was having chest pains um two days in a row so i was like let me just go get checked out everything's fine um but i had her check my cervix because you know they hook the baby up to the machine the monitor to monitor the baby's heart rate while you're in the er and um she was like she the nurse came and she's like you're you know you're having contractions i was like yes and no <laughs> i was having rex and hicks contractions i need to drink more water i know that i'm drinking water right now okay and my fancy whiskey glass because a girl can dream anyways 
Um, yeah. So, drink more water. Everything's fine. Baby is very, very low. Okay? I'm going to show you. So, when... <laughs> You know, when you get your ultrasound done, usually they are like, you know, on the belly for the head. No, she was all the way down here. Okay, that's where his head is. I'm like, dude, first of all, you need to chill because you still have a lot of baking to do. Okay, like you're not even coming out anytime soon. So I, I need you to back back up. All right, because when I walk, I feel like like if I cross my legs, I feel like I'm squishing his head. That's how low this baby is. But my doctor seems to think, I mean, my cervix is closed, which is obviously good because I'm only 28 weeks. And my doctor seems to think it's normal. So I'm waddling like a duck. I'm sitting in my room. What time is it? It's 3.50 p.m. I'm sitting up here. I gave the boys some snacks. I told them they could watch TV. I just need like 30 minutes. I just need like 30 minutes because physically I, I feel like. A stuffed sausage about to burst that's how I feel um anyway I oh god I don't know what dinner I have spaghetti in the fridge they can have spaghetti my husband I don't know I took I took out some shrimp I was thawing out some shrimp maybe I'll do some like you know how you can make shrimp fancy maybe I'll do some like shrimp and rice with a side of asparagus or something for dinner because that's easy shrimp is quick other than that i i'm so exhausted i never had this problem with my other two pregnancies and i'm so physically exhausted and so frustrating because i have a million and one things to do and i'm the type of person to be doing a million and one things at all times so to have to sit here like this is pissing me off but anyway, it was a short vlog. I really wanted to just show you guys the mom van and get your opinion. Like, should I become that mom? Should I become that mom? Comment below and let me know. And uh, yeah, keep us in your prayers and I'm going to keep you in mind, okay? I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. Jagger is calling me. Yes? No, baby. Okay. I knew they weren't going to stay quiet for too long. But I was wishful thinking. Anyways, I will see you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>